What is up guys, Noah Nation Gaming here, back here today for some WWE 2K22, my GM. Now I'm going to catch you guys up to speed here and also refresh my own memory uh, we, with, you know, what we got going on in my GM. We just got done WrestleMania Backlash. We did that on the last episode and the episode before that was the draft. So there's two my GM episodes so far, so you can go and check out some of the other previous content. But currently on the roster, our Universal Champion is the Master of the 619, the greatest mask of all time. Rey Mysterio, of course, our current SmackDown Tag Team Champions are the unlikely duo of Umanga and <laughs> Shinsuke Nakamura. And then our current women's champion, as you can see down there at the bottom, is Raquel Gonzalez. We have a pretty awesome roster of uh, some some young some young talent uh, like Wesley. Uh, Johnny, oh, I wouldn't really consider him young or not even Cesaro or anything like that. We just got some really good in-ring talent mixed with, you know, some awesome legends. And we're probably going to have more legends eventually added to the roster. Uh, I want to add another woman soon, which I think we were talking about at the end of last week's episode because we got Ember Moon. And I was thinking about picking up. Let's go to uh, the free agency here. As I was thinking about picking up Liv Morgan. And, you know, I think we should go ahead and pick up Liv Morgan. You know, she, she's hot right now. You know, SmackDown Women's Champion. Just won Money in the Bank. So, I think we're going to kick off this episode with a big signing for our women's division. We're going to go ahead and sign Liv Morgan for five weeks to Friday Night SmackDown. Welcome to the team. Uh, good old Liv Morgan there. So, I don't think there's any uh, new legends that I have on the agenda uh, as of right now. But, um... You know, going to double check anyway. I, we did talk about, I believe, maybe getting Stacey Keebler as a, uh, a legend for our roster. We just signed Liv, so not at the current moment. Uh, might add JBL eventually. Just, you know, kind of goes with the old SmackDown theme that I've been going with. So, might add JBL. Even The Rock. I got my eyes on The Rock. You guys see I'm rocking that Project Rock uh, all day, every day. But I'm uh, not going not gonna to sign anybody else right now. Let's just go ahead and let's get into uh, week six of uh, my GM. Friday Night SmackDown in Louisville, Kentucky. So we're going to go ahead and check out our uh, journal for this week. So in progress, uh, when it comes to our, our stuff, we have uh, Alexa Bliss wants a exclusive title rematch against Raquel Gonzalez. And then we, uh, what was it, the commissioner goal uh, is a schedule running on your most available popular star this week. So we can definitely do that. So we're going to kick things off. We'll have a banger opener here uh, where we will go Alexa Bliss and Raquel Gonzalez in a... WrestleMania, this is the match I had at WrestleMania Backlash, I correct, I'm pretty sure. Uh, WrestleMania Backlash rematch for the Women's Championship. And uh, let's make it a, let's make it a tables match. Why not? I'm not sure. Their match at Backlash might have been a tables match. Not exactly sure. Uh, but to uh, do that commissioner goal, I got to see who my most popular star is. I believe that is John Cena and Rey Mysterio. They're tied technically. Which, uh, I guess Rey Mysterio, would. it looks like his is on the up and up opposed to Cena. So, I guess we'll schedule a run it on Rey. That looks like what makes sense to me. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kind of pushing things together here. But, alright. We'll go Rey Mysterio. Uh, and he's not going to face Randy Orton. We'll have Rey go one-on-one -on -one with... Uh, need a good heal here. Let's go Rey versus... We kind of capped Cena and Cesaro. Not capped it, but we, we... I mean, I guess you could say we did a backlash. So, we'll do Cena... Or, excuse me, Wright and Cesaro in the main event. And then we'll do an interference. Uh, Randy Orton running in on Rey Mysterio. And that'll meet our commissioner goal. And I'm sure that'll be a pretty good match in the main event. So, we'll move on to one of our mid-card matches now. Let's get the tag team champions on the show. We'll go Umanga and Shinsuke Nakamura versus let's go dave batista because you guys remember we kind of started a rivalry between batista and umaga but we kind of had to flush it uh at least momentarily because we needed a tag team partner for nakamura at uh backlash so that i just kind of pinned him and you man get together and uh <laughs> that's the way we went so we'll kind of reignite that here batista and umaga uh and who's gonna be on batista and umaga's or excuse me who's gonna be on batista's side let's go i think we'll go eddie no you know what let's go john cena batista and cena versus nakamura and uh, Umanga, and I won't put the titles on the line yet, I'm just gonna kind of leave it as a normal match for now. Uh, you know what, actually screw it, we're gonna go ahead and put the titles on the line because it'll, it'll pop a rating, it'll help the rating at least. So we'll do two title matches on this show, and then what do we got going on? Let's do, uh, Booker T and Nakamura technically are feuding, but, you know, that's kind of, uh, not something we're super worried about at the current moment. Uh, let's go Eddie Guerrero going one-on-one -on -one with... Yeah, let's go Johnny Organo. We'll do that matchup here. Should be a good little matchup. I know some of these guys that says they're in Fusion stuff, but in my mind, I kind of cap stuff at uh, Backlash, and I like to keep things fresh here. So we'll do Eddie versus Johnny Gargano, and then we'll do a self-promo from, uh, let's go Booker T here, and then we'll do a call-out promo, which uh, we'll do Naomi and Indy Hartwell and continue their feud, 
and then we'll do a call out promo between uh, the boogeyman and sure the hurricane and advance their rivalry to a what well, says level two to a level four so that's uh, looking all good let's get into our show logistics uh, we do have the Thunderdome available now uh, which I guess you know what let's go ahead and book the Thunderdome this week so we'll do that uh, get you know the crew oh, we do have something new actually available for purchase the gorilla crew go ahead and do that it all helps the show evidently so go ahead and uh, make these advancements and use some of the higher priced items at least this week and then maybe we'll have like a smaller show next week to kind of regain some cash but uh yeah smackdown week six louisville kentucky looking good so let's go ahead and confirm the show and see what happens All right, cards looking good. Louisville, Kentucky, Week 6, Friday Night SmackDown. We got a solid card, man. Two championship matches. Ray and Cesaro, kind of a new feud going there. We're going to keep the Orton and Ray rivalry going with that run-in in the main event. We're in the Thunderdome. It's looking good. Uh, I'm pretty pumped up. So we're kicking things off. We have Alexa Bliss, Raquel Gonzalez, of course, is a rematch from Backlash for the SmackDown Women's Championship, which in this matchup, as you guys can see, Raquel Gonzalez retaining the SmackDown Women's Championship. This was a tables match as well. Forgot to mention that. Uh, and a three and a half star. Great matchup. New rivalry. Uh, Gonzalez and Bliss level one. You'd love to see a great way to kick off SmackDown there. We have a little promo from the five-time world champion Booker T. Uh, which goes walls for him. Then we're going to move on to our mid-card match. First of two mid-card matches. Eddie Guerrero versus Johnny Gargano. Potential for a new feud here as well. And it's going to be Johnny Gargano picking up the victory over Eddie Guerrero. Surprising there. I thought Eddie was going to pick up the win. But two and a half uh, star okay matchup. I'll take it. Uh, you know, it's better than, you know, a... a, a Below average match, I guess you could say. Uh, but then we got the Indy Hartwell and Naomi promo. Uh, keeping that feud going. And then we have our SmackDown Tag Team Championships on the line. So, Umanga and Shinsuke Nakamura. Uh, and uh, Yes, I'm saying Uma Umanga on, on purpose. Like, William Regal says it. Umanga, but it's Umaga. All right. William Regal is my general manager, so it makes sense. But anyway, we have Umanga and Nakamura uh, defending the Tag Team Championships against Dave Batista and John Cena. And your winners of the contest and new... SmackDown Tag Team Champions are Batista and John Cena. That's actually a callback to when they won the World Tag Team Championships in the summer of 2008, for those who remember that. But uh, awesome little matchup there. Three stars, three and a half stars, excuse me. And a uh, new rivalry begins. We have new Tag Team Champions on SmackDown. You'll have to say it. And that's actually good for Batista's morale, I gotta say, because you remember he was upset because we promised him the main event, then Backlash rolled around. We forgot to put him in the main event, and then he was mad at us. So hopefully now that he's a champion, his morale goes up. So... Good stuff there, but we have the Boogeyman and Hurricane Feud. Uh, keeping going there with that call-out promo. And then we have our main event, which is Rey Mysterio versus Cesaro. Uh, Ord's making a run in on Rey. Rey's also looking a little bit low in the stamina, so hopefully he doesn't get hurt here. Uh, don't want to have to uh, crown a new Universal Champion. That would not be good. But uh, Rey Mysterio picks up the win in a one-and-a-half star disappointing match. That is shocking to see. Uh, how bad that matters. Got to be the that's the worst match on the show tonight. But it grows the rivalry between Orton and Ray uh, up to a level two. So I guess there's some positives there. But let's see what Monday Night Raw's got going on in the Thunderdome this week. A uh, bunch of crap like usual. Lesnar and Danny Burch versus R Truth and Trent Seven. What what is going on? Monday Night Raw. Who I think Stephanie I put in charge of, of Raw. Steph, what are you doing, man? Uh, we got Mia Yim and Dana Brooke. We got Eric and Akira Tozawa. And then uh, the actual only good thing on this show is Bailey and Becky Lynch for the Raw Women's Championship. So we obviously don't care about this. We're just gonna go go gonna go ahead and simulate their whole show. And uh, let's get into this here. So somehow they beat us in the opener, man. We had a three and a half star, but they beat us in that four star. That tag team tables match beat us, man. I'm knocking it, but it beats us in Raw. Uh, we beat them in the, the second mid-card match, but Raw killed us and everything else. So, is what it is. Raw's probably going to be on top by the end of this week as well. What can you do? Uh, so, here's all your, your viewership, your revenue. Uh, plus 55,000 fans. Uh, we made more of a profit. It's good to see. Twitter's popping. Is what it is. We're still ranked number two. I uh, got a little health spa. Uh, card there, so that's all good and dandy, but yeah, we're all still number one. What can you do? We got to bounce back. Let's have another banger week next week. All right, checking the emails here. So Booker T's in the email say, hey, my contract at SmackDown is up at the end of the week. I'd be interested in staying in the Cosby 
64000 I I talked about this when we were new in the Hurricanes contract. I wish you could make your own offer because it's like, hey, how about forty four k? But I know what's most likely going to happen, and they're most likely going to say, oh, I'm insulted, yada, 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 and then it's, it's just not going to work. I want to ruin my reputation with Booker T. So, with that being said, I'll see to it. I'll see to it. I want Booker around. I'll just keep him around. 64K, we'll, we'll talk the next time. It's time to renew his contract. Oh, here comes Batista, Big Dave. He's, he wants Hollywood money, so what's uh, what's he going to be wanting? He wants 85K, man. <sighs> I just put the title on you. You know I'm going to keep you around. I'm not good at budgeting, as you guys can see. Uh, Alexa Bliss, thanks for the title rematch. Uh, you already know. You know I promised you that, and I was going to give it to you. You held up your part. I didn't follow through. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, I have to say, you really look up for your talent on SmackDown. Of course I do, Bliss. Of course I do. Johnny Gargano, you don't seem to realize this, Regal, but I'm a bit of a master on the mic. Eh, well, I guess. Uh, and then he said, I want to make a mark in a promo during tonight's show. Seems reasonable, Johnny. No reason I can't <laughs> do that for you. Excuse me. All right, so Johnny Gargano. Got to put him in a promo tonight. And uh, contracts are coming up uh, in a couple of weeks' time. Umaga's in uh, two weeks, so... Gotta worry about that. But let's go ahead and check out, you guys already know, the free agency and see if there's anybody in here we want to get our hands on. So, uh, obviously, Bobby Lashley would be a permanent name in here. Nobody would have to re-sign over and over again. Shelton Benjamin. Uh, we got Mandy Rose, uh, Mia Yim. Pretty good Pretty good little uh, list of names here. Let's check out our legends. So, we got Taker. We got HBK. We got Eric Bischoff. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's get Mr. McMahon and Eric Bischoff and uh, put put them in the main event for the inverse title. All right. Uh, nobody we're going to mess with there. And uh, I'll, I'll just keep it as is. So you guys didn't see it because I cut that part. But it says we are three weeks out, I think, from SummerSlam. So we're going to have to uh, start building up our feuds towards the biggest party of the summer. But we got to put Johnny Gargano in a promo. So let's go ahead and do that. And then uh, what is it? Don't put Cesaro in a match this week is our commissioner goal. No problem. So it sucks because we literally just kind of started a, a feud uh, between Ray and Cesaro. But I guess it's more Ray and Orton. So it's all fine and dandy. Uh, so let's do a little tag team match. Cesaro, you cannot wrestle. I apologize. So uh, what other heel do we have? We have Umaga and Nakamura, but they're already in a team. Uh, so Orton's going to team up with the Boogeyman this week. And they're going to take on Ray and the Hurricane. That That's a tag team main event, if I ever saw one. That's a banger tag team main event. So we're going to go Ray and Hurricane versus Boogeyman. And Randy Orton. And then, uh, what else do we want to do here, man? Let's go John Cena versus... Uh, let's go John Cena and Nakamura. Or no, let's go... Let's go... Uh, we're going to go Batista. No, I can't talk. <laughs> let's go Cena and Umaga. We're going to go Cena and Umaga. And then we're going to go Batista and Nakamura one-on-one. -on -one. And then we'll do a tag team matchup in the opener, which will be Naomi and Alexa Bliss. Versus Raquel and Indy Hartwell. That sounds good. Let's do another promo here for Liv Morgan. And then I think we need to turn somebody heel. We need another heel. So I think we're going to go ahead and turn Booker or Eddie. Let's do Eddie since he's really not doing anything right now. We'll go ahead and uh, turn gold Eddie Guerrero heel uh, to have another heel in the card. But that will be our SmackDown this week. Go ahead. Book the Thunderdome. Guys, already know we go big on Friday nights, man. We go big time, and uh, looks good uh, to me. So we're gonna go ahead and confirm this, and hopefully have a better week than Raw. Uh, both Rey Mysterio and Orton not looking the best in stamina, but hopefully we can get away scot free there. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Friday night SmackDown. We have a little tag team matchup: Naomi and Bliss versus Raquel and Indy Hartwell. And the winners of the match see Alexa Bliss and Naomi getting the win in a two and a half star okay matchup. To kick off the show, we have the Johnny Gargano promo that he said he was great at, and it is an excellent promo, and a promo effect up to a 6, so take what we can get there. We have Batista versus Nakamura, first time ever, one-on-one. -on -one. We go big here on Friday nights, and of course, the animal Big Dave, one half of our tag team champions, gets the win in a three-star good matchup. Uh, we have a promo from Liv Morgan, our newest signee, to Friday Night SmackDown there, which goes good. Uh, and then we're reigniting an old rivalry, man. We're taking it back to 2007. John Cena versus Umenga. And the winner is, I'm open my eyes now, John Cena picks up the win, and John Cena down with an injury not good not good hopefully Ray or, or orton doesn't go down with an injury because that's going to be some of our biggest names down and out possibly for SummerSlam. so it's not good cena injured tonight on smackdown not good not what you want to say eddie guerrero turning heel 
Uh, promo rating was okay, but we've got a new heal on the show. And then we have our main event, so hopefully nobody comes out injured here. Ray and Hurricane versus Orton and Boogeyman. Boogeyman and Orton pick up the win, and it doesn't look like we're having any serious injuries coming out of this matchup. So Cena looks like he's going to be down and out, hopefully for not for too long, excuse me. And uh, hopefully that's the only, you know, uh, big injury on our roster. But here's Monday Night Raw. Looks like they're running back nearly the same exact card as last week. Uh, and, you know, what can you expect? I said this in the past two videos. 2K23, can we get better AI in the game, please? So Raw's coming out looking on top yet again. We definitely got to change up some stuff. As you can see, uh, down, down, down there it says, uh, poor opener. Your mid card outperformed the opener of your show, creating a weak start and confusing pace for the fans. Uh, swapping these two matches would have created a stronger start to the show. What can you do? And as you can see, we go down to the injuries and John Cena's match. It says John Cena three weeks. That's one half of our tag team champions now. Uh, down and out with an injury. So not good. Not what you want to see. But Raw wins this week, unfortunately. We really need to bounce back. SummerSlam's coming up. We got to beat Raw. We got to get back to number one. All righty. So we are two weeks away from SummerSlam. And then we're getting into some of our emails here. First things first, we have Umago says, hey, my contract is up at the end of the week. Umaga wants more money out of us. 55K. <clears throat> All these people trying to steal my money out of my bank account. Uh, Triple H, look, you need to take better care of yourself. Oh, well, relax, Hunter. Coming out strong. I understand sometimes you need a big match, but make sure to plan around that. Triple H coming out hot here. Get off my back. I'm giving you a health spot card. Oh, I forgot we could use some power cards. Forgot about that stuff, but uh, all right, so we'll, we'll get back to that now. Akira Tozawa in my DM saying, hey, William, listen, I'm sick of working for McMahon at Raw. And uh, I'm more than happy to ditch my contract and come to SmackDown. I'll do it on a discount. The Akira Tozawa trying to come to this show. Yo, I'm, I'm no disrespect, Akira Tozawa, but that ain't my plans, buddy. I, I'm sorry, so I don't know what to tell you. He said, you're a loss. Man, get out of here with that. All right, Indy Hartwell. Look, Alexa has been handing me nothing but losses. There's something, someone else on the roster you can match me up with against. Absolutely. Absolutely, Indy Hartwell. We can give you a different match soon. We'll talk about it. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's check out our power cards real quick to, uh, you know, before we get into anything. We obviously have some stuff stacking up here. Uh, so we have free. We're going to go ahead and use some of this stuff. Free advertising, booking. Um, and then there was another one in there, too, since we've been running the Thunderdome and using the more expensive options the last few weeks. Uh, I'll go ahead and do that. That way we can uh, save a little bit of coin this week. You love to say it. And then uh, what do we got in here? We have a health spa, which I think is... Send the chosen superstar to a top spot to recover six more stamina this week. They will be busy this week and be unable to. Build. I don't think I can use this on Cena. Can I use this on Cena? Can I use it on Cena? Does that like cut? Well, let me use it on Cena. Does that like cut it down to like two weeks or something? Busy one. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, send the chosen superstar to top spot. Uh, so I have another health spa, which I'm not going to use yet because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, for this week's show. Uh, what is it? Pre-match reduces the probability that Superstar become injured in a match. I'll save that for SummerSlam, just in case. And then, uh, alright, Journal, Commissioner Goal, have you have your most popular female, uh, male, or excuse me, female babyface and heel fight each other this week. Which hopefully isn't Indy Hartwell and Alexa Bliss. So let's go ahead and book a banger show. So let's go ahead. Main event here. Uh, let's go Dave Batista and Umaga. One on one, and this week we're gonna go a tables matchup. Uh, let's go to the mid card match here. Where we will get our most popular woman, which is Raquel Gonzalez and Alexa Bliss. We will put the championship on the line. It is Alexa Bliss, right? Is our most popular baby face? Yes. All right, so we'll do the uh, championship on the line, and we will also make that match a screw. It. We're gonna do an extreme rules match, man. We're gonna do extreme rules, and you know what? Can we do a little interference? No, we can't do interference. Oh, yeah, yes, we can. Uh. We're going to do a Liv Morgan interference on Raquel Gonzalez. Maybe start a new rivalry there. So we'll do that. Mid-card matchup. We will go... kind of want to rest Ryan Orton this week if I can. So uh, let's go Eddie Guerrero going one-on-one -on -one with Booker T. Should be a good contest there. And then we'll go... We have enough for tag team matchup. Gargano and Boogeyman. And we've read, we're, we'll bring back the old tag team matchup that we were running a couple weeks back. Uh, and the Hurricane. Look at that. There you go. And then we'll do a little call-out promo between Wright and Randy Orton to keep their rivalry going. Let's do a uh, Nakamura. Or Nakamura. Uh, Nakamura. There you go. Nakamura promo and a call-out, which will be Ember Moon and Indy Hartwell. Maybe start a little feud there. Uh, so it looks pretty good. And then 
I think I don't think I can use those health spot cards even during a promo, but they're not rustling, so that'll help that out. So let's go ahead and set up all these logistics here, and then uh, we'll get into this week's show. All right, let's go ahead and confirm this show. We are two weeks away from uh, SummerSlam. Excuse me, we have Week Eight, Chicago, Illinois, uh, for Friday Night SmackDown. We are in the Thunderdome. Kicking things off a little tag, we're bringing it back for, to episode 2 of my GM. Gargano and Boogeyman versus the Hurricane and Wes Lee. And is Gargano and the Boogeyman picking up the victory? Two and a half star, okay matchup here. We have a little promo between Randy Orton and Rey Mysterio. Grows the rivalry to a level 3, uh, which will definitely uh, you know, make the rating uh, even better when we probably have them two face off again at SummerSlam. Eddie Guerrero versus Booker T right here. Booker T picks up the win. And uh, not not starting a new rivalry, but definitely interested in starting that rivalry. Mediocre matchup, evidently. Uh, Nakamura promo here, one half of our tag team, or not one half of our tag team champions, excuse me, but it been involved with the tag team championships. Uh, speaking of titles, we have a Extreme Rules matchup, Women's Championship on the line, Alexa Bliss versus Raquel Gonzalez, Liv Morgan, of course, make it a run in here, maybe start some new feuds. Raquel Gonzalez picks up the win and retains the SmackDown Women's Championship, so defeating Alexa Bliss, pretty much ending that feud, and a uh, new rivalry with Liv Morgan set up. So probably going to have to have uh, Morgan versus Raquel at SummerSlam. Four-star, amazing matchup. you love to see it. Ember Moon and Indy Hartwell here. Going to start a new promo or start a new feud there. And then uh, main event, tables match. Batista, one half of the Smack team SmackDown Tag Team Champions. I can't talk today. Versus Umanga. And uh, who is going to pick up the victory? It is... Oh, my eyes. Dave Batista, the animal, picks up the win in a three-star good matchup in the main event hopefully that was enough to beat raw this week without exhausting my entire roster on the road to SummerSlam. so raw pretty much runs the same exact card uh yet again looking horrible as always don't even want to stay here to uh see what happens so raw uh, all right so raw uh beat us in everything minus the second or excuse me yeah the second mid card match third match on the show where we beat them with our extreme rules women's championship matchup it is what it is. Um, as you can see, it says, Poor finale. Your main event was overshadowed by more entertaining mid-card, leaving fans disappointed at the end of the show. Uh, you know what? That's true. I should have put the Extreme Rules title match in the main event. Uh, little mistakes, man. Little mistakes. But what can you do? We learn and we get better. So Raw is still most likely on top at the end of this week. You know, fans still, still gain fans, still gain profit. But Raw, obviously, again, Number one in the rankings, so that means we're going to be one week away from the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam, and uh, we got to come out strong, man. We got Ray and Orton on the road to SummerSlam. We got Liv Morgan and Raquel Gonzalez, and uh, hopefully we can keep having some bigger feuds build up to SummerSlam as well. Johnny Gargano in our email said, "Hey boss, I have a proposition for you. How about you and I have ourselves a little partnership in the next few weeks? You have my back, and I'll have yours." Gargano wants me in his corner. It's a simulation, Gargano. I don't got time for that. The fans will love it. Love it. I'll love it. Uh, what else could you ask for? So how about it? Book me in a match and be in my corner. You got yourself a partnership. Count me in. I'll book you in a match with me in your corner in the next three weeks. Yeah, why not? Makes it more interesting. Let's see what happens. I'll be in Gargano's corner. Recall Gonzalez. Listen, I'm not physically 100% right now. I don't mind the pain, but I want a serious injury. No problem. I'll use a health spot card on you. Is it okay if I take two weeks off? Tell you what, take a week off at a health spa. All right, yeah, that works. Cause that way, I she'll get SmackDown off, but I should still be able to use her for SummerSlam, which works out. All right, so we gotta be in Johnny Organo's corner uh, sometime in the next three weeks and book your least popular available superstar for a match this week. So let's go main event here. We gotta go big in the main event, man. So what are we gonna? What are we feeling? Let's go. Hmm. Let's go, Rey Mysterio. Ray's still, Ray's still hurt, man. I don't know. I don't. I really don't want to get him hurt before SummerSlam. So, all right, back up. Main event, tag team matchup here. Batista, who obviously we can't team up with Cena because he's still hurt. Batista and uh, Booker T versus the Boogeyman. Or why did I just say the Boogeyman? Umaga and Shinsuke Nakamura. Least, who's our least popular available superstar? I believe that would be Ember Moon. So uh, we'll go Ember Moon versus Indy Hartwell there. Because we did start that feud. Mid card, we will go... Let's go the Swiss Superman Cesaro versus... Who we got? Let's go Wesley. Wesley, I guess. Not going to be the best show this week. Uh, definitely... 
I don't know, man. Uh, let's, let's make this a tables match. Why not? And then uh, what else we got? We got tag team matchup here. We got Bliss and Naomi versus... Uh, we don't have enough for a, a women's tag team matchup. Unless we made a signing. Unless we made a signing. Let's go. We didn't check out the free agency this week. Let's go check that out. So in the free agency, we do have Sasha Banks. But as I keep saying, I want to stay away from the four horsewomen. Because everybody always uses the four horsewomen. Uh, Tegan Knox, Nikki Ash as well. Can't say I'm interested. Is, is Stacy Keebler available? She is available. Dude, I think we gotta go ahead. I think we're gonna pick up Stacy Keebler. Big signing for Friday Night SmackDown. We're bringing in another legend. Go, come ahead. You know, welcome to the show. We'll go tag team matchup: Alexa Bliss and Naomi versus Liv and Stacy Keebler. Why not? We'll do that. Looks good to me. Self promo. We will go Randy Orton promo. We will go. Eddie Guerrero promo, and we will go uh, Johnny Gargano promo. Just promo win it up. So this is probably not going to be that hot of a show, uh, but you know, again, trying to Cena's out, trying to rest Rey Mysterio, Raquel's out. Uh, we'll go. She's trying to rest her. So we're kind of keeping it light this week. Hopefully, we can have a big uh, SummerSlam when it's time to do that. So I'll go ahead and fill out the rest of these logistics, and then hopefully we can bounce back with a show that at least uh, rivals Raw. If not. We'll go ahead and book the best SummerSlam we possibly can. All right, go home SmackDown to SummerSlam. We have Alexa Bliss and Naomi taking on Stacey Keebler and Liv Morgan. And of the team of the debuting Stacey Keebler, the legend, newly signed to the show. And Liv Morgan pick up the win. It was a one-star, one-star dull matchup. With a legend making her debut, I don't, I don't, agree, with I don't agree, agree with those statistics, but is what it is randy orton promo goes good we have cesaro and wesley in a tables matchup here hopefully this gets a good rating that's all we can really hope for cesaro picking up the win in a two-star mediocre matchup this show is bombing hope we really need to book a good SummerSlam, man hopefully everybody's healed up and uh, ready to go cena probably won't be ready but we'll see if we can work around it indy hartwell picks up the win over ember moon johnny gargano promo man this show sucks uh <laughs> this week and uh, hopefully Umaga doesn't get hurt here. He's looking a little dull. Uh, but Umaga and Nakamura pick up the victory in a three-star good match. Or at least we had a half-decent main event to uh, close out the show. But here's the Raw card. If we can't, but if we can't beat Dana Brooke and and, and Reckoning, not me again, Reckoning in an Extreme Rules match in the main event, God help us. But uh, let's go ahead and see what happens here. Uh, yeah, okay, they crushed us all around. That is, is what an embarrassing show. Your mid card outperformed the opener of your show, creating a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, absolutely an abysmal week. We're just, we just need to move on. <laughs> we just need to move on from this. And uh, we need to book a good SummerSlam, man. We need to, we need to come back strong because Raw is killing us right now. All right, Kansas City SummerSlam. It is time. Uh, real, real quick, we got some emails. We got Liv Morgan. My contract is uh, up at the end of the week. Liv, don't be asking for a bunch of money. Uh, 38k. Can I? Would it be insulting if I asked her for 26k? Should we do it? I'm gonna do it. She's gonna be insulted. I hate being logo, but okay, I'll take that offer. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, right, my contract's up at the end of the week as well. Well, obviously, I'm renewing our Universal Champions contract for a bunch of money. Sounds about right. Randy Orton, hey boss, I've been talking with Guerrero a lot lately, and he has this great idea. We should team up for a tag match. They would actually make an awesome tag team. I'm not opposed to that, but why do you have to do it the week of SummerSlam? In the next few weeks, sure, let's see how your team goes. That, that doesn't mean SummerSlam. I, if I'm reading correctly, it says next few weeks, so I don't have to do it at SummerSlam, I think. Uh, Cesaro, I've been putting in a lot of work lately. I've earned a title shot. How about it? You'll get a tall shot within the next three weeks. All right, so we pretty much made everybody happy. A little more, a little, little moral decrease, but, you know, she's asking for a lot. You know, relax, all right? Uh, so let's get into uh, booking our SummerSlam card here. So we got some power cards I want to use. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get into this here. So special promotion. Sure that, sure that you're retaining most of your fans this week. We're going to go ahead and use that. Uh, I want, I'm going freaking steroiding up this this SummerSlam. That's what we're doing, man. Uh, reduce the probability that Superstar become injured in match. We're going to use that on Ray Mysterio. That way we can uh, have him in a banger um, at SummerSlam. Uh, reduces injury time for Superstar by three weeks. I can't use this on Cena? No. Oh, I can use this on Cena. All right. Does that mean John Cena will be back for SummerSlam? I think it does. All right. We love to see it. 
this one, add two uh, con two weeks, excuse me, to a free agent or legends contract. I'm gonna go ahead and actually buy this while we're looking at it, and we're gonna add it on to uh, four weeks remaining, three weeks from remaining, three, three, two. We're gonna go ahead and add it because Batista is probably gonna ask for even more money. I'm gonna go ahead to go ahead and add it if I can talk on to Batista. All right. So anyway. Go ahead and check out the free agency. I don't think there's probably anybody who really want to pick up at the current moment. Oh, Moss! And uh, Legends-wise, the only guy I'm really interested in would probably be The Rock. But I'm not going to pull that trigger right now. Alright, so let's go ahead. We got to book a banger show here, man. Um, within the next three weeks. Alright, I just wanted to double check that. So, right, let's go ahead. Main event to SummerSlam. Rey Mysterio and Randy Orton. Universal Championship. Of course, going to be on the line. And it, of course, will be a TLC match up there so that should be a banger of a main event we'll go tag team match up batista and john cena are back and they're going to be teaming up uh, against umaga and shinsuke nakamura for the tag team championships in a tables matchup which uh, looks pretty good let's go mid card here we'll go raquel gonzalez and Liv morgan for the title in a tlc match sure i don't care i just want to kill raw this week and then uh, what else we got going on? Eddie Guerrero and Booker. I want them on the show, but their rivalry didn't really kick off hot yet. But uh, let, let's just go ahead and do it. Eddie Guerrero versus Booker T in a tables matchup. And then uh, we will go... You know what? Maybe we'll change this, actually. I'm, just, I'm booking on the fly here. We'll go Cesaro and Eddie Guerrero versus Booker and... We'll go Wesley. Ta tag team tables match just because and then we will go alexa bliss versus no actually the feud is indy hartwell and naomi so we'll go them one-on-one -on -one. self promo here from stacy welcome to the show obviously then we'll go self promo uh ember moon then we'll go self promo alexa bliss then we'll go call out promo between the Hurricane and the Boogeyman because their rivalry has just been so freaking epic. What was our commissioner goal? I'm sure that Shinsuke Nakamura cuts a promo this week. He's wrestling. I'm just going to have to give up that we're not doing that this week because he's wrestling. So uh, he ain't cutting a promo this week. So SummerSlam, obviously, booking that. Uh, stage building crew. New one available for purchase. Evidently makes our shows better, so obviously want to use it. We'll go do that. And... Go spend some even more money and go do that. Jesus. All right. Well, our show's actually over. We can't even do that because our show... All right. We need to cut some costs here. We're not doing all that. We just spent a lot of money. All right. All right let's do that. And uh, yeah, man. Our budget is freaking low, dude. We need to have a good show. All right. So anyway, SummerSlam is looking pretty good. I'd say this is a banger card. We're in Kansas City. Let's go ahead and confirm this thing. I, I really hope we got to crush Raw, man. We got to crush Monday Night Raw and have a banger SummerSlam. We got tables matches, TLC matches, all the titles are on the line. Rivalries are going on. This has got to be a good show. It's the only match that on this show is probably going to be like, eh. And that's this Naomi Indy Hartwell match. But it's the second match in their feud. We're getting it going here. You know, is what it is. Indy Hartwell picks up the win in the first matchup on the show, which is two stars mediocre. Fine. Stacy Keebler promo, uh, which goes good, so nothing to complain about there. Now let's really get into the meat of the show. We have a tag team matchup, tables, Cesaro and Eddie Guerrero taking on Wesley and Booker T. And Eddie Guerrero and Cesaro picking up the victory. Three stars, good matchup there. You'll love to see it. Ember Moon picks up the victory. And then we move on to our first of three championship matches. Raquel Gonzalez versus Liv Morgan, which is a tables, ladders, and chairs match for the SmackDown Women's Championship. And as you guys can see, what a freaking banger. Four and a half star classic. And Liv Morgan is the new SmackDown Women's Champion, just like in real life. Look at that. Rivalry grows. What a classic matchup. That's going to be, be like better than the main event. They're going to be like, well, the mid card is better than the main, so your show sucked or something like that. Uh, Alexa Bliss promo here, which goes good. Uh, we have a SmackDown Tag Team Championship matchup. Tables, of course. Batista and the returning franchise John Cena versus Umaga, Umanga, and Shinsuke Nakamura. Who's walking out with the gold? It is Batista and John Cena. Four-star amazing matchup tag team rivalry grows you love to see it and it's a banger matchup good stuff there uh we have hurricane and boogeyman promo keeping their rivalry going okay nothing really too crazy and then we move on to the main event tables 
ladders and chairs. Rey Mysterio versus Randy Orton. Let's go ahead. Let's have a banger card. Have a banger main event. Who's going to win? Is it Ray or is it Randy Orton? Who's walking out a SummerSlam with the gold? And it is. Rey Mysterio is still your Universal Champion. Rivalry complete. Rey Mysterio and Randy Orton completing their rivalry at SummerSlam. Four-star amazing matchup. All right, SummerSlam went well for Friday Night SmackDown, man. We cannot allow Raw to have a better show. And it's looking like... They're not going to have a better show. All right. They literally book nothing but normal matches. Clearly, they're keeping it cheap at SummerSlam, which my budget is not looking good at all. But we had to go balls to the walls to survive, in my opinion, at SummerSlam. So, I think we'll definitely go ahead and simulate Raw. And uh, how did they have a Well, they had a better normal opening matchup. But we crushed them in the rest of the show. Uh, even second mid-card. Beat them in the middle of the mid-card. Beat them in the uh, both mid-card matches, excuse me, and even main event somehow. But uh, poor opener. Your first mid-card outperformed the opener of your pay-per-view, creating a weak start. You know, can you give me, like, a boost? Like, hey, you did a good job here. No, it just wants to bring you down. Just wants to bring you down. Oh, but Raw gets a good booking. Man, get out of here. If Raw's still number one, I swear to God. I swear to God, I'm going to be pissed. I swear to God. If we're all still number one, I'm not even going to look until I get to the second screen. I don't even want to look at the ratings on the side of the screen. Who's who's number one? Are, Raw's still on top. Raw's still on top. Who booked this? Oh my god. Raw's still on top, dude. Triple H probably in my DMs yelling at me because of my budget. Oh god. Whatever. What can you do? We're four weeks away from Hell in a Cell. Boogeyman, Boogeyman wants more money. Boogeyman, I don't got the money, cuz. How about 104k? Yeah, Boogeyman, I'll see you next week. Yeah, whatever. Hurricane wants more money. Uh, Hurricane, I already give you, gave you a raise before, dude. I already give you a raise. I like how it's, it can't just be like, now nah, I want to keep your contract. Like, there needs more options in the contract negotiation instead of just, I won't be re renewing it. Seems reasonable. How about 104k? Like, Whatever. We're going to have to make some roster changes, probably release some people. I don't know. Uh, Indy Hartwell, Regal. I don't know if you know this, but I love being in a certain match. The one and only TLC. Nobody does better than me, says Indy Hartwell. Uh, I think if you booked that, it was a TLC. I had no idea. We got I'll book you in one within uh, two ways short. You know, Indy Hartwell wants to be in a TLC match. No problem. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, listen, I need to wipe that smug smile off Batista's face after that loss. I want to fight him again within the next two weeks. Absolutely, Shinsuke. We'll absolutely book a nice, normal, no-cost matchup between Nakamura and Batista. That is no problem at all. Uh, our budget is literally 77000 right now, which is not that good. Uh, but real quick, before we get out of here with this episode, let's go ahead and check out the roster. Or excuse me, go ahead and check out the free agency and uh, see if there's any uh, roster moves we want to do. We're probably going to have to cut some contracts because, like, roster's getting a little big and the budget's getting a little low. So, uh, we do have a pretty big do have a pretty big contract here. You know, I kind of just signed Stacy just to have, you know, I was I was lacking a body for that week. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and, and release Stacy. Honestly, she, she came and went on this episode. But, uh, you know, maybe we can always resign her. We can always resign her. So, I'm going to go ahead and... And, uh, uh, Stacey, wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. As for anybody else, I'm just going to probably keep right now. Uh, the only other people I'd probably maybe cut is, like, Gargano and Wesley. But, you know, we're not in a rush for any of that. We'll keep them around. But everything else is looking good. Batista has become the most popular wrestler on our roster during John Cena's absence at an 86 popularity. Uh, all our champions are looking good. Everything's looking pretty good for SmackDown, man. So, I'm, I'm feeling it right now. I hope you guys are too. We have Hell in a Cell as our next pay-per-view, which is hopefully going to be a banger. And hopefully we can beat Raw, man. We have really been on, on the up and up just trying to get back at, and, and you know beat Raw these last couple weeks. We haven't been able to do it. We had a better show at SummerSlam than then, but still wasn't enough. So hopefully we can bounce back. But I hope you guys enjoyed episode 3 of my GM. More to obviously come right here on the No Nation Gaming Channel on top of our Universe Mode videos and all that stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and leave a like because, you know, it just helps the algorithm or whatever so that's what everybody says so go ahead and leave a like and i hope you guys enjoyed us i'll see you guys in the next video peace Game pace on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Doing me no cap. I'm a rapper.